hello. Hey. We are uh, all decked out for Christmas, as you can see. Yeah, some I beautiful... ducked like I was in the way of that. <laughs> beautiful work. We're at uh, Fun and Sun, and we've been here three weeks now. It's now a couple days till December, and we are at a decision point. We are. Um, we've been having so much fun here. So that's one of our dilemmas. I don't even call it a dilemma. Um, one of our variances that are swaying in our decision one way or the other. Um, but yeah, our next stop is going to be cold. So that's one of the things we're looking at. And the stop right after that is... Colder. Colder, <laughs> yes. And then the very next stop after that, and this is all within the, like the next week and a half or so. Um, right. We are going to a place that kind of has a high COVID rate. Um, so we're kind of tossing that up. And then right after that, we go into higher gas prices. So we're kind of at a decision point, of, if you want to call it a fork in the road. Um, do we stay here or do we continue on? Right. And I think, um, yeah, it's the COVID is, is concerning. Uh, where she's talking about is in... Arizona and, and unfortunately they're having a, a spike especially in and around Phoenix uh, Mesa where we're scheduled to be for Christmas and New Year's so um, here in the Rio Grande Valley though it's it's a different story it's a lot lower right now just happens to be so uh, that and the fact that we've enjoyed our time here at Fun and Sun uh, we may move to a different Encore Park we're going to have to see if that's available. Um, this area is really uh, interesting uh, near Harlingen and uh, Brownsville. But here in Harlingen in particular, there are five Encore parks. Yeah, so uh, we have a lot of options right here that we don't have to move far. Uh, same town. We're in San Benito, but that's basically uh, just right next door to Harlingen. So um, so that's our, that's our decision, and we will uh, let you know how that goes. But in the meantime, let's talk about fun and sun. Oh my gosh. Um, how long is this video going to be? <laughs> well, we're going to try to keep <laughs> there... it a little shorter. But yeah, there's a lot to talk about, isn't there? There is. We have had so much fun here. Um, I can tell you a quote, and I've heard it enough times, but I hope I get it right. If you can't find something to do, it's your own fault. Right, or if you're bored, it's if your own fault. If you're bored, your own fault. I'm sorry, that's the quote. Yeah. Yeah. If you're bored, it's your own fault. You should not be bored here. No, there is so much to do that sometimes even the schedules kind of conflict a little bit. Yeah. Um, we had one day where we were like, did we eat today? <laughs> Let's stop. We made a quick dinner, and then we went right on to the next activity. Yeah. I mean, and that was the way it was from the time we woke up, and we got up really early, too. So there's a lot to do around here, whether you want to um, be very active or if you have more of, it's not so much physical activity, but just interacting with other people. Social. They, yeah, the social aspect, they have that here. Arts, craft, music. Um, well, he won a hole in one in the putt-putt tournament, which was awesome. <laughs> she was on the winning darts team. Yes. So that'll be on our And video that was too. a lot of fun. <laughs> and the other thing here is people are so accepting that, um, okay, so our first day of sand volleyball, well, I'm not very good. And the, the people that we're out there playing with, I mean, I give them so much credit for patience. But they were still so accepting and so encouraging um, that we just really had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, um, that was a lot of fun. That yes, yeah. and it was a workout, too. Yeah. I was huffing and puffing and sweating, and these people, they're uh, older than me. Um, I'm not going to say a lot older, because it wasn't a lot older, but um, they're, I mean. They're just as active. If they not weren't more breathing so. yeah. hard. They're not sweating. <laughs> they're used to this. And I'm yeah. like. Okay. <laughs> so if if this will tell us anything, like this is, uh, let's show you, these are these are the things that they give you when you get here. Of course, we picked this up, and, and Ann's going to talk a little bit about this. This is the activities guide, so kind of goes along with uh, what she was saying about just how uh, busy this place is. They actually have to have an activities guide. Yes, now, they so have that's... a full-time uh, activity director or coordinator here. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that helps. Uh, and a lot of this is very much volunteer effort, too. There's a lot of the residents are very active yes. in the community. Yes. You'll see that each activity, there's some, um, somebody that lives here. 
um, that heads that. Um, and it's really kind of cute because if you want to know something about an activity or what time it's going to be, if you're around a bunch of people, there's usually someone in that crowd that knows that person's phone number and that can either text them or call them right away and go, hey, is this going on today or what day is this going on? Um, which is really neat that, that everybody stays here, interacts with everybody else here. It's, it's really a, a community um, that makes it a point to stay active with, within each other here. Um, and when you get here, they give you a an opportunity to have a community coordinator. Well, uh, what is she? Carolyn. She know. is our welcoming committee. Welcome committee. That's what I was looking and for. And oh my gosh, she is wonderful. She had us in stitches. I had my ab workout just the, <laughs> doing the welcoming tour that she did. Of the whole um, park. It, yeah. Yes, very, very informative. Um, a lot of fun. She touched base on everything. Um, because of her, we, we had some place. We, we've been here uh, for most of November. We got here, uh, I think, uh, around uh, the day before Veterans Day. Yeah, it was the November 10th. 10th. So we got here November 10th, and here it is November 28th now. Um, and she took us around, and uh, we were here for Thanksgiving, which mm -hmm. just passed uh, this past Thursday. And uh, you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so... Okay, so this is going to touch back on what I was saying. People are so friendly here that every activity that we went to, we'd have people introducing themselves, um, and several people said, hey, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? You know, do you want to come on over and join? We're having a group of people coming over. Come join us. Um, Carolyn was the first one to reach out to us, and... We went to Judith, Sheila's, Sheila's, so, Sheila's Sheila. house. From the library. From the library. She, she's the, the big library <laughs> coordinator. I don't know if you would call her librarian, but I guess that's that would be her title too. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Um, Community librarian. But she, we went to her house, and I think there's about maybe, I think we were in the 20th, yeah. 20, 19 and 20 here that were there. It was a, a nice size group, extremely friendly. Mm -hmm. I kind of thought they were joking when they said we're going to, you know, go around, introduce everybody, there'd be a quiz at the end. There was a quiz good. at the end. <laughs> Do you remember this person? Do you <laughs> there were so many that we actually, we we remembered everybody by the state they're in. Yeah. Um, spoiler or hint on that is a lot of them were from the same state. Indiana. <laughs> so that worked in, out good. They're all like, they all came down from Indiana together over right. the years, and now they're here. Some of them are here all the time. Some are here seasonally, mm -hmm. but uh, they all are, you know, it's the Indiana camping group what? and there's any there's <laughs> when I look at the activity guide there is actually activities for states yeah. so people from those states can get together and have their own I guess we gonna call it a club or maybe a social um, activity for that particular month or week or whatever it's assigned in there um, activity, yeah. activity there um, but some of the other things we've done um, was the, we did the ice cream social which is amazing twice now we mm -hmm. did it twice yes tonight will be the third time Definitely going tonight. It's bring your dollar bill, bring your name badge. Yep. Um, you get to meet a lot of people there. Um, they do have some live entertainment afterwards, and it's been really, really good entertainment, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've really enjoyed it. The ladies last week got up line dancing, and I was yeah. very jealous because I would have loved to have gotten up there, but I didn't know any of that. Which they can teach you how to line dance here. There's, line, line, dance there's line dancing in here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we did um, table tennis. Table tennis. Again, if you don't know how to do it, no show worries. Up. They will show you. They're very accommodating, very friendly, let you work on it, give you hints, all that kind of stuff. Um, we actually, oh. again, it was one of those things. We went in there. We were working up a good sweat in there. It was, it was nice. Um, shuffleboard. We did shuffleboard in their indoor court, which is actually a national, and I think as of next year, is an international tournament there. Yeah. Um, beautiful, beautiful court. Um, again, I can't say this enough, friendly, outgoing people there. Yeah, showed sure us how to do everything. We had a lot of fun. Because that was both of our first time doing that. We, yes. Neither of us had ever played shuffleboard before. Um, and, you know, from our other video, there's bocce ball, there's pickleball. Mm -hmm. We haven't done those yet. I mean, uh, <laughs> but time. we come back again or we're here, you know, if we end up staying here for uh, December through Christmas, mm -hmm. then we'll definitely get around to it all. I guess the over uh, the overarching 
point there is there's just not enough time to get it all done in, in three weeks. <laughs> no, so we actually had some things where Mike would go to something, I would go to something else, um, but because they, like I said, they would overlap. We had the ukulele. Yeah, the um, ukulele band. Ukulele band. Did some singing um, there. Did there. stuff there, but as he was finishing up there, I ran over to billiards, signed us up, not billiards, darts, uh, darts. the dart tournament. And he got, he actually was holding us up just a few minutes at the <laughs> <They> end, <waited. laughs> but they waited. And as soon as they got there, we started that tournament. Yeah. Um, we have done billiards, which is. They got a beautiful room. Oh my yeah. gosh. It, that yeah. has to be the most beautiful billiard room I've seen. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, you go in there. I, again, I feel like I'm going to just hit that repeat button. Friendly, friendly, friendly people. Well maintained. Um, extremely yeah. well, well yeah. maintained. And people here take pride in everything that's here they yeah. they maintain it themselves which is a rare sight to see honestly um, we also had um, there's pool aerobics there's pool um, volleyball every day I think is it every day I think it's uh, every day I think so yeah, um, it's in of the course schedule. there's the sand volleyball yeah. there is bingo every single Thursday night Thanksgiving does not exclude bingo <laughs> here there is bingo Which, no matter what we didn't go um, because it was the night that there was a uh, weather warnings for hail, hail half inch size hail so we're like yeah I don't think we're gonna go yeah but windy. that's you know that's the thing too is around here there's there's plenty of indoor and outdoor mm -hmm. activities so even if the weather's inclement uh, there's places to go and people will still be busy so here's what I did here. So the other night we were going to their dance. It's a Friday night dance every Friday night. And lo and behold, we forgot our, our, our cash. Yeah. We're like, okay. Have a little cash on hand because, right. you know, you need a dollar here, five dollars there, six dollars here for the, uh, the the cookouts and things. But right. the dance as well. Right. Yeah. Ice cream Totally social. forgot about it. So we're all dressed up. We get in the car and we look at each other and we're like, do you have your cash? Do you have your cash? <laughs> like, no. No. <laughs> well, what do we do? We went to play billiards, yeah. which was great. Um, and of course, people also ended up showing up there that night, and they were playing billiards. So it was a nice little Friday night outing for us. Um, there. Oh, have, have we talked about their wood shop? Uh, well, I have it in the first video, uh, but uh, oh, we right. haven't been there. Um, they have wood wood carving and wood shop, mm -hmm. so they have two different groups. Um, the wood shop, though, you know, you, you go there, you, I think it's a $40 seasonal fee, mm -hmm. um, and then you're able to go in there. You have to bring your own BYOW, right. and bring your own wood, but they are selling, they so they do have, have some wood there for sale. Too. And, uh, you know, they have coordinators in there that will help you um, with uh, the different machinery, uh, if you're not familiar. And, and there's uh, everything you can think of. Yeah, it's a everything big wood shop. Think of. It's a nice wood shop. Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. It reminds me a lot of uh, some of the places you and I have been together in the military, where, especially some of those communities that are more volunteer-driven. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of that community. So if you're maybe if you're military-experienced, uh, this, this would feel very uh, familiar to mm -hmm. you. You know, you would be used to uh, pitching in where you can and... and that's, that keeps it, you know, so I guess the the final take I would have on that is this place is tons of fun. Uh, and It is fun in the sun. If you're bored, it's your fault. Yes. <laughs> you're not trying hard enough. Um, well, an example, too, of the volunteering and maintaining is, is their library here. There's hundreds, if not, I'd say thousands of books in oh, there. Oh, thousands, yeah. It's a, it's a full-on library. They're all donated. They're yeah. all donated and all kept up, maintained. Catalog by and, yeah, yeah by residents here. Yeah. Um, what are some other things they have here? Well, they have the dog park, which we've been to oh. a couple times. That'll be in our next video. This, they this, love the dog this park. This one loves the dog Absolutely park. Absolutely love the dog park. Uh, they have a big dog and little dog right. side, mm -hmm. um, which is right next to the, the bird sanctuary. But honestly, these these dogs would chase birds around to no end. But when they go over there, they just sit there and watch them. Yeah, it's they, so they're, relaxing. They're watching birds. <laughs> right, too. they bird watch there too. <laughs> There's um, the uh, is it Victory? Uh, what's the name of the the little park in the corner? Oh, Freedom Park. Freedom Park. Freedom Park. Mm -hmm. Well made, beautiful. Yes, you sit out there and have a social hour, cocktail hour, however you want out there, or just socialize with each other. Um, there There's is horseshoes, but I haven't really seen. That's one thing that. we keep saying yeah. we're going to do is horseshoes. We have There's done RC horseshoes. car racing, RC. Yeah, and that's been postponed this month a lot because this has been one of the wettest months uh, down here. I was watching the local news the other day, and they said November. They they started November in drought conditions right. here in the valley. 
and now they're at a surplus pretty much all over. So uh, exactly. that's one of the things, and, and it's a it's a it's kind of a dirt track. So every time it gets it, it happens to rain, and mm. it's still wet on Fridays when they're supposed to have the races. But um, then they have a, they have a driving range all, uh, just out the front gate. Yep, which is also an open field of dog park as well. So if mm -hmm. you don't have them on a leash, they also have the um, RC air, is airplanes, airplanes yeah. out there, yep. and. They're not like these little ones. They're, oh, they're, they're these big, big <laughs> airplanes out there. We haven't gotten um, any video of that we yet. But we we've have. seen a couple of people coming back from there with their um, planes on the back of their golf carts, but we actually haven't seen them in flight yet. And um, then they have the, we just saw this yesterday. I think they're test running it. They have a train. Yes. <laughs> little park train. Um, and I heard, uh, I'll have to confirm that, that it was once at Disneyland. I did hear that as well. Yeah, that it is uh, the train from early Disneyland. And, uh, you know, it's a little more like a tram. You know, it's it's got wheels. Um, it's made to run on the road, not a or track. Or kind of like if you've been to Key West, they have the conch train right, there. Right, the conch train. Or if you've been to Savannah or St. Augustine, they have those little downtown trolley, um, yeah. trolley or trains. It's kind of that same same concept. But I did get video of that yesterday. That was nice. Yes, that is nice. Um, and um, what else did I hear? They, had, they have a sewing club here. Yeah, arts so, and crafts, big arts and crafts. But around. that's different from their sewing, though. Right, two different rooms. Mm -hmm. They have a computer um, computer uh, club, club computer here. Room. When they do a lot of support for Android devices, mm -hmm. uh, iPhones, so mobile devices, but right. also with your Windows computers and things. And that I went the other day and, and eavesdropped in on the um, ham radio. Ham radio. So they have a big ham radio mm -hmm. um, group here. And uh, yeah, so. And then starting in January, or is it December? I want to say maybe it's December. Their genealogy club will start. Oh, up. that's December, yeah, next yeah. month. And that's at the library, I mm -hmm. believe. And so are some of the other stuff so like that. So what their... you need to have at your disposal <laughs> <laughs> is this. Is your handy dandy. Guide. And join the, uh, the the local Facebook right. residence group. They'll approve you if you're a resident here, right. even temporary, you know, three-week residence or uh, all-season or they'll, annual residence. Yeah, they'll keep you up to date if something's yeah. canceled, what's going on that day. Oh, yeah. I know what I was going to say about the train. If you want to see um, a clip of that train, we did post it on our Instagram page. Instagram. Um, Trailblazing yeah. Travels on in Instagram, so you can see that. Yeah. Um, that's about it for now. I'm sure there's more. Yeah. There's actually a lot of card games they do here. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, there that. are so many of them that it's, let's see if I can, it's. I mean, not just, not just Texas Hold'em. They do have that. No, too, it's. They have different poker games. Uh, well, there's uh, part of it. Cards. There's cards here. <laughs> um, so there are lots, lots of different card games you can do. They also have a singles club here, which I think that's absolutely amazing yeah. that they have. It's like a singles, uh, because they have a lot of those activities that are, mm -hmm. that are uh, run by the singles. And um, so we've met a few mm -hmm. folks that are in that. Uh, so yeah, if you're, if you're single, if you're a couple, if you've got, um, you know, this can be an extended family, no matter what. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. A very, very nice, uh, probably the best um, uh, 55, well, this is our first 55 in o Over Park, but I have not heard myself personally of anything that is this active. I mean, we'll, we'll no. see as we travel, but so far, this is this is the bar has been set. <laughs> it is. I mean, so now every place we go, it's, we're going to be comparing it to Fun and Sun. Is, yeah. it, is, it, is, like it, is this it as or good? Not? Is that yeah. as good as Fun and Sun? Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, if we do happen to stay here, we will have to leave for a week to another Encore uh, resort and then come back. And it's almost like it's like stressful we have to leave yeah. for a week before we come back you know it's not far away it's, it's not it's a couple of miles it's over really. by the, the the airport here. and i did hear <laughs> that um if you're at one of the other um encore resorts and there's not something going on there but there's something going on here vice versa you can actually because yeah, they're all on um yeah you can actually yeah. join up with the activities which is great too so that just gives you a plethora more of things to do to fit into your busy schedule so here is, um, and a lot of their bigger shows begin in uh, January. They have a New Year's Eve show, though, uh, of course, on New Year's Eve. But yeah, a little list they give you of that. Um, just going over a couple of things we might have missed here. If you need um, propane, um, they come around. You just put this in your window, and this company here, Hino Gas, shows up and does that for you. Um, 
you get free cable and internet, and it's actually free high-speed internet um, through Spectrum, 100 megabit per second, and we're running right on that. And uh, I'll have to do a, a different a video where I show that, um, and I have it hooked up here. It was real easy to do. We use Roku TV um, uh, uh, devices, um, so once you have the Spectrum app installed. Uh, you set it up. Um, There's no boxes to have to worry about inside yeah, yeah. or anything like that. It's not simple. a cable box. You can get a cable box, right. and it's that's included too. Um, and what we have is just five dollars for the uh, router um, per month. Per month. Yeah. Right. So uh, we have the modem and the router. I have it hooked up right to the cable line, and then um, once the router is uh, active. Uh, you log in with your devices and you can watch uh, TV and, and have internet. So that's a big plus of this part too is um, some of those amenities, those little things. Um, some things you th that you take for granted, you know, yeah. that we always have it. When we're traveling, we've noticed you don't always have it. Yeah, and we ran out of streaming data <laughs> right. this month. Or we'll have, we'll go someplace <laughs> where reception just isn't good. Yeah. Um, and then you're like, okay, what do we do? There's not any amenities around to do. We can't really do, you know, much work online um, so you get a little creative and you know, you know start exploring the area a little bit more too but you don't realize what you have until it's, you don't have that anymore so our next video um, I'll, I'll put a link in uh, below here and we hope that you'll subscribe and like and subscribe subscribe to our channel here on YouTube but um, I'll put links in the description and we'll have um, the video that we did the part one video it's called tons of fun at uh fun and sun and then this next video i'll do after this is uh is going to be more tons of fun at fun and sun and we'll try to um get that out here in the next couple days um and yeah we'll uh because there's still i think one more activity that we're looking at getting on monday so if we happen to just decide we're going to continue on um on our original plans, we want to be able to get, add that to this part of the video. Yep. Um, yep. If we head up to San Antonio, we, we right. won't be back through here. We may come back through here uh, in the spring. In the spring we'll as see. well, we'll yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, hey, uh, that's us. Uh, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy our videos. And uh, from Ann and I, Mike and Ann, and we have uh, Jasmine, Jasmine and, and Sarah Kleiner. Uh, we all wish you a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and we will see you soon.